What if you want to put an audio effect like a reverb on a clip, but you want to hear the reverb beyond the end of the clip? Well, that's a problem because the effect will be cut short. I'll show you how you can solve this problem. So first, let's explain the problem. I'll use the intro that you just saw as an example. So I'm here in Final Cut Pro. To make it simple, I'll just take one of those spaces effects here and let's set the cathedral to make it very obvious. So if I put it here on the last audio clip and play it, I'll show you how you can solve this problem. Boom, it stops right there. Now if I want to make it longer, I cannot because this is the end of the clip. Now even if I put it on another clip, like this one, you hear the reverb beyond the end of the clip. Well that's a problem because the again the effect stopped short and didn't continue beyond this clip. And that's because this clip ends right there. Now if I extend this clip, and in this one I can do it because this clip has still more data, I have another problem because I have some other data here which I don't want to hear. So even if I'll disable those clips, let's hear it now. Beyond the end of the clip. Well, that's a problem because... It okay, so I cannot do that. So let me undo, undo, and undo. Well, the solution is to use a compound clip and make the clip longer with the gap clip inside. You can do it in a few ways, and it doesn't matter which one you choose. Now, if I try to add the gap clip right here, I click Option W, and the gap clip is added after the video, and not after the audio. So what you do is you press Command G and you create another storyline. Now if I select the storyline and click Option W, it adds a gap clip. For some reason it put it at the beginning, but I can just move it to the end. Now if I select both and press Option G to create a compound clip, let's call this audio CC1. Now I just made my clip longer without any audio in it. So again, let me disable those two. Let's add the cathedral effect here. And there you go, we can already see it in the waveform. Let's hear it now. Beyond the end of the clip. Excellent. Let me enable those two back, and now we will hear the effect even while we see and hear the continuation of this video. Beyond the end of the clip. But well, that's a problem because the effect will be... Another way you can do it is select the video and audio together, and then create a compound clip of it. I'll just call it CC2. And now if I double click it to open, now if I add a gap clip with option W, Here's my gap clip, and I can make it as long as I want. And then when I go back to my clip, Problem. now I can make it longer, and it's quiet and empty. There's nothing here. I can add my audio effect. I'll show you how I can solve this problem. And again, problem solved. So that's all you have to do. Add a gap clip, create a compound clip, and now your clip is longer with quiet in the end, and that way you can add an audio effect, which will spill over beyond the end of the clip. That's it for today. If you like this video, subscribe and click on the bell. And I'll see you next time. <laughs>